It's really a large opening when you think about it. The remains of another less fortunate traveller lies on the ground in eternal slumber. This guy's in terrible condition. He's falling apart. I don't see any point in messing around with a dead guy. The only proper thing to do is bury him. It's too bad I don't have a shovel. The remains of another less fortunate traveller lie... This guy's definitely out cold. A closer look reveals a shiny ring on the hand of the skeleton. Wow, that's a really fancy looking ring. I better not wear the ring. I might lose it. Or worse yet, someone might rob me. It's the beautiful shiny ring that was found on the skeleton in the hollow tree. The only proper thing to do is bury him. I better not wear the ring. I might lose it. Or worse yet, someone might rob me. Exotic blue fruit bulbs line the inside of the hollow tree. These blue bulbs are the fruits from which dreams are made. Wow, it feels like everything's spinning. What is that supposed to mean? I don't see anything else of interest. It's the Book of Runes from Welder's house. The management is not responsible for loss or theft of personal belongings. I've seen this guy before. Haven't you got more important things to do? Do you know where I can find the Ice Giant? Are you still after the Ice Giant? Look, son, I've spent my life hunting and exploring this territory, and I've never seen an Ice Giant. Like I told you, the only thing out here is poultry game and some low-life criminals. Personally, I think it's all a bunch of superstitious nonsense. What a surprise. I didn't expect to see you here. I've been chasing this darn rabbit all over creation. You won't see him hopping about anymore. Do you know if there's any water left in the well? Not one drop. I found that out for sure when my little boy fell into the darn thing. By the way, if you happen to see the little critter out here somewhere, please tell him to run along home before I set a fire to his rear end. Sorry, but I have to go now. So that's where the little critter lives. A small rabbit has left its tracks in the snow. An old bucket that was once used to fetch water from the well. Surprisingly, the spool above the well is still in good working order. It's hard to see what's written with all that snow and ice covering the letters. 
Those strange markings. I've seen them before, but I don't know what they mean. According to the Book of Runes, this is the Well of Life. I wonder what the connection is. I don't think that's a good idea. I never cease to amaze myself. A closer look reveals nothing more of interest. That's not exactly what I had... Wow, it's dark down here. I don't think that's a good idea. I don't think that's a good idea. She's radiating just enough light for me to see down here. A closer look reveals nothing more of interest. A closer look reveals nothing more of interest. What do you make out of all this, Cymbeline? I sense a very powerful vibration. Something important has happened here. I have a vague memory. Yes, it's coming back to me now. This is an old well that was used long ago, during the time of the Mecubars to transport slaves to freedom. I think there were some tunnels connecting all through here that were used as transport routes. But who were these Mecubars, and what's all this about slaves? As I remember, it was a long time ago, the Mecubars were a race of astral beings with a very advanced technology. They came to our little planet, don't ask me how, and enslaved all the humans. They weren't all that bad as far as superior races go. But the humans didn't take to the fact that they were just being used as pawns in some big game at the Mecubars. Anyway, a small group tried to get together, thinking if they could just get hold of the Mecubars' secret technology, then the humans could restore their freedom. So what happened? Did they find the Mecubar's secret technology? Things didn't really turn out as they had hoped for. Something must have gone wrong, because there was a terrible cataclysm shortly after. Things just blew up everywhere. Since that time, our lovely planet has been under the control of those evil beasts, who have been destroying what's left of the bits and pieces of our world. I'm not certain. But I feel that there's a connection between those beasts and what happened with the Mecubars hundreds of years ago. Nobody ever told me anything about this. I thought I was just supposed to get some jewels and kill a few deadbeats along the way. That's just the point. There's something terribly abnormal about all of this. I can't put my finger on it, but I've got a good idea that someone is up to some of his old tricks again. I can't keep talking. It's taking too much energy. But I'm still here with you, so hang in there.